All right, today uh, for our project, uh, we are working on lab three where we're using uh, a DC motor, an LCD, we're using an RTC real time clock, a power supply, an external power supply for the motor. Uh, the Arduino is controlling all of these things. We have a, poten a potentiometer uh, connected to the LCD to control the contrast and such. So, uh, this is just some of the code here. Um, to use the IR receiver because we're going to uh, control the motor uh, using solely the IR controller instead of a push button and we're and these were the commands that come from the controller so this is a code for button 0, button 1, button 2, button 3, 4, 5, and 6 that we will be using. Uh, these are the libraries that we incorporated from IR Remote, Liquid Crystal H, uh, RTC Lib H. So these are some of the libraries we use. Uh, these are the variables that we have in place. Uh, again, we're defining addresses for the RTC. Uh, we have variables in place to control uh, for flow control of the actual uh, code and everything in itself. Uh, whether we're enabling the motors or or pulse widthing, sending a, a specific frequency uh, or of pulses to uh, the actual input. And again, there's a lot in this code. We've, we've set up some, some interesting, cool loops that uh, will display the state of the motor uh, in the code. Like for this instance here, um, the, here's a case where, uh, you know, we're going to constantly output to let you know that, hey, we're in clockwise and full speed and et cetera. But just taking a quick look at some of the code, we want to actually dive in the project itself and give you a... A demonstration. So before we demonstrate, let's. So we have Bargarvi Bar recording. She's going to transfer and start displaying the project itself. And I'll come into place. So again, here we have our DC motor, which we'll we'll be controlling. Here's our power supply external. That's power solely the the DC motor. Here is the LCD, which displays the the day, the time, the date. Uh, and then also we have an RTC here, uh, which is which is outputting this data to the LCD. This potentiometer here controls the contrast of whatever we're trying to look at, which we're not concerned about right there, so we'll keep that the same. So Rashab here, we have him recording. Well, he's going to be our control expert today. So today, Rashab, I want you to crank this up by putting this in full speed. So this is in full speed, full speed uh, clockwise. And you can look on the screen, the LCD, where we're displaying the time every second and we're also showing that we're in clockwise full speed so now let's try slow speed or, or should I say three-fourths speed so now the motor has slowed down three-fourths of speed here and again it lets you know that we are still in clockwise so we're trying to take us to slow speed so there we go half showing half speed right here on the LCD uh, which is clockwise as well so to get creative, we'll go back up to full speed, but we'll put it in counterclockwise. And so for counterclockwise here, you can see, again, the LCD lets you know which state that it's in. Go to the medium speed counterclockwise. There you go. And the display shows it. And then slow speed counterclockwise, which is there. RTC updates every second. Uh, everything seems to be in place. And then we can also control it by just turning the, the motor off itself. So, again, DC motor, we have an IR receiver, which the remote sends a signal to the receiver, which is interpreted by the Arduino, uh, which then controls an L23, uh, L293D IC, which in return sends the signals to the motor to generate the specific speeds. So again, uh, this is Jerry's Morrow. We're back for our lab three. Uh, uh, and thank you for taking time to watch this. Thank you.